I googled you. Uh oh. Apart from the course, just making sure you weren't a felon or I don't know. Fair enough. What'd you find out? I saw that CBC story. Right. About your business. Yep. You're nice. You're very nice. Well, I don't know. It just made sense. Uh huh. Yeah, my team is usually about five or six guys, and I've been working with this one guy, Hal Ed, for about five years. I was so wrapped up in my own stuff at the time that I didn't even really register that when I heard him talking on the phone with his family that he was speaking in Arabic. But when all the Syrians started showing up, I was like, man, I want to do something. And then, bam, I just realized I could, you know? Looking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my brother Toby used to say all the time. So that's what I renamed my contracting company. Well, you read the article, so. Anyway, yeah, Khaled translates, runs a cruise, and they work in Arabic and start learning English as they go. Khaled's family is from uh, Jordan, so his dialect is a bit different, but we make it work together. Get the newcomers working, making money, feeling good here. We got almost 20 guys now, so we're pretty busy. I'm grateful for it. You're very nice. Well, I have a lot to make up for. Sure, but you're also very nice. You'll have to forgive my suspicions. Well, of course, you're suspicious. In your line of work, plants, nasty buggers, mean-spirited. Well, you have no idea. I got to admit, I don't actually know what uh, ecologists do. Neither do we. I used to teach at UBC, but I um, don't now. I was doing research there about a, a decade ago. I didn't work for a few years. Now I'm at the botanical gardens. That's great. It's good. Hey, sometimes good is good enough. That's what I've been telling myself. Yeah, I'm not kidding, though. Neither am I. I have sometimes good is good enough embroidered in cross-stitch above my toilet. What? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really do banter. You're, you're good at it. I find you very funny and charming, but I, I don't really banter. I, it's fun for a while, but it doesn't really interest me as much as saying what I really mean. I think we might be able to relate to each other in a certain way, but only if that's what you're looking for. I don't mean to be so blunt. I just don't want to waste your time or mine. Okay. Well, I have a 33-year-old daughter I haven't talked to in nine years. My husband died of prostate cancer 10 years ago, but I was a, an active alcoholic at the time, so I couldn't even drive him to doctor's appointments or the hospital. I managed to lose 10 year staters shortly after that. I go to AA, but only once a week, and I don't sponsor anyone. I work alongside the people who would have been my students 10 years ago. You're the only man I message back on that fucking app, and I don't really know what I'm doing or what my intentions are. There. Okay? Okay. <laughs> 